are going. Get the move on. I've been playing nothing with Baldur's Gate all day today. I've been grinding credits because I bought my uh, St. Vincent, so I'm broke. Fair. I mean, I stayed on the game all day yesterday. It was probably the worst time to be on the game because I was doing the tournament till late, you know what I mean? Because I had to watch those yeah. two extra oh. games. Yeah. So I did nothing but Blitz all day. It was insane. Yeah, eventually you got to kind of take a break there. Yeah, that's why I didn't touch it today, until now. That makes sense. That makes sense. Kick here, right there, perfect. Just make sure All right. we are good and golden. Let's we'll go to lobby view. Boop. Oh, we got Storm. Storm is in the chat. Oh, I Alrighty. also did pl pick up Plymouth. Yep. Damn, Storm's quick. Yep. And I gotta say, I love Plymouth. I'm really tempted on it, but I don't want to put the money down. I'm like, I should like, I was I a just, little tight for money, so I didn't buy it when it was in a bundle, and I should have. <sighs> yeah. So I did the, I just did one ten crate opening, and I'm like, if I don't get it, I don't get it. I just move on with my life. I wasn't gonna go ham on it, but uh, luckily I had, I got it, and I had a camel on it, so. Emptying. Quite fortunate. Emptying. All right, let's see. Tournament schedule. Why is it not showing what I want it to show? All right, let's actually go there? into full face. Let's actually show this off, everyone. We are live, and we have Imperial versus Got Overwhelmed, and we'll mm -hmm. be watching a best of three yeah. for the losers bracket finale. Is it a best of three or is it a best of five? It's actually best of three, and then the last one's best of seven. Best yeah. of seven? Mm-hmm. Are we... Okay, so it's only the winner's bracket finals that are best of fives. Yeah. And then grand final is seven. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, and the, the EU one went long yesterday. That was insane. Or today, actually. It was insane. It was uh, an amazing I, I, I wasn't able to catch any of the EU. I'm going to have to go back and look. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bob's stream was insane. So, oh, man. Pop up. Um, so now we just wait on invites, right? At this yeah, point. we're just waiting on invites. Oh, yeah. Yep, Star Meal's now in my chat. How's it going? Let's see if we're getting... Yep, put that up there. Yep, so our best of three, Sea of, sea of Fortunes, Haunted Seas, and Haven, along with Impure Rage and Got Overwhelmed. Uh, Pigbait, you actually watched these uh, yesterday. How did Got Overwhelmed do? It looks like they just went on a killing streak over there. Oh, yeah, they were they were pretty solid the whole time. Um, honestly, I, I ended up following the whole time in Loser's Bracket, IA, and it wasn't until they got to Promo where they, uh, they just ended up, like, not... Hold on, I thought they were looking real good until that point. But uh, AU was just super dominant the whole time. Any any matches that I saw. And this should be a good one then, because Imperial Rage was definitely killing it on the winner's brackets. Yep. Hold up, I got to type in chat. I yeah, know, right, everyone? Yo! Let's go, Rage. Glad, which one? <laughs> Pure? Impure. <laughs> Pure or Impure, which one? Now, what do you think? Do you think we're going to have a Rage versus Rage finals, or is it going to be pure Rage versus uh, AU or Overwhelmed? It's not. I've been calling it AU, but it's Overwhelmed. I'm really thinking that Overwhelmed versus Rage, these are going to be some tight games because uh, Impure Rage was playing incredibly well the other day, mm -hmm. and in doing so, they only faltered to Pure Rage's just absolute insanity of strategy especially really having the right spawns on the right flanks mm -hmm. and that's really what won it for them in comparison to um all the other games that i saw from uh pure rage or impure rage so it's it's really gonna be a, up to okay who's got the best spawns and who's got the best strategy in order to handle those spawns so storm thank you for the dono you don't have to oh no no everyone do exactly what what you did on Bob's on pig base. Come on, go go do that. Go do that. Pig Bay doesn't know what happened. He doesn't know what happened on <laughs> on Bob's stream. 
<laughs> Go give him some love. Bob's a psycho guy. Go make some books leak. Yep, absolutely. Now, uh, Sea of Fortune, Haunted Seas, and Haven. These are some really uh, key and critical maps, especially if we go to all, all the way to Haven, because you have those pocket slots of how they're going to use those battleships. But with uh, Sea of Fortune, Pig Bay, did you see any kind of mm -hmm. interesting strategies yesterday in, on that? Because it is kind of a divisive map. Um, So, I did see one match where they were running, I forgot who it was, was running 3DDs, and you know they're basically able to take B for free at the start of the match and give their team an early advantage. But for the most part, whenever teams had two DDs, they kind of just went to the out ones, uh, outside uh, caps. B was a kind of just an afterthought. So, I mean, we'll see. I'll have to look at the comps when I see it. I see a kid, of all things, and we're just talking about it. Oh, yeah. But, oh, wait, it, it, that, the entire pier, like, they had FDRs in lobby, everything like that. So don't don't trust anything that they have in lobby. So we'll actually go into lobby right now. You yeah. But I definitely saw a lot of Cossacks. Uh saw a couple I think it was Yoho playing the actual player Yoho playing uh Yukikaze a lot. Um and I respect it. I love the Yukikaze. Interesting pick though. Uh it's not something mm -hmm. you would see in a randoms map going meta on that, but it definitely has its moments. Yeah. Honestly. The Ignacio Allende, I love that boat. I love that pick. I think it's a very strong pick because of the utility you get with the radar, but it also does a great amount of damage as well. I think there there is one thing to say about the Ignacio, though, is that it doesn't have the smack that the Amalfi brings. So depending on the, the strat, you actually might want to bring the Amalfi over I mean, the yeah. Ignacio just due to the smacking power, add in a, a, a mines with it right behind. You're not talking about some seriously dead DDs pretty quick. Yeah, but the thing I'm, I'm, the Ignacio can farm the cruisers and the DDs pretty well, and even the battleships that they can aim at the weak spots with that uh, that buff active. The thing oh, is, yeah. they're gonna have to charge that buff up though. Yep, and you know, once again, the Amalfi does have the capability of having the smoke, so it can get away if it needs to. Uh, but of course, at this level of play, how much does smoke actually play? Because a lot of people will be able to hit in smoke no matter what you do. Well, I mean. What I've saw is a lot of times they just use it as a disengagement tool, you know, smoke up to just lose detection and then, or just like to, you know, go concealed and then just back out. Oh, yeah. Uh, immediately here, Mogami. There's a Mogami selected here. Yeah, Any I saw one. On uh, wait, was it? Mo no, yeah, I saw one yesterday. Um, I mean, it's not the one I would choose. I, I think, you know, if you want to bring a Mogami, just bring Takao. Better or the black to cow <laughs> at that point, but that Horrible. is it. Yeah. You know, if you're already using that, um, man, yeah, here we go. Oh, first game, right into it. Yep, Switch overwhelmed versus impure here. thought. Yep, we're going in, boys and gals. If you're all uh, right, see, Borodino. But would you bring a Mogami over a mains? Because remember, there's only one premium per. Uh, class. No, 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 no. I would not bring Mogami over me. That is a horrible yeah. pick there. Yeah. yeah, so it would have to be a regular Takao. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, don't do this. I did this yesterday. Okay, so in the blue team, we have Overwhelmed, and in red, we have Impure Rage. A simple two three two setup on either side, so all now up to who can shoot better. He's got the better yeah. strats. So we we're looking at overwhelmed. They got a good amount of ships heading over there towards A, but looks like the lightning is he gonna cut back in or is he going straight to B though? Are they giving up A for that? You know, both teams seem to be no, it looks like they, I think Overwhelmed is definitely going for B. They're just going to give up A. All right, looks like we have Orkin going into C right now. Is it going to get in there in time? To, nope, does not get in that time for uh, stopping that cap from flipping. But now it's going back the other way because the enemy Orkin in Arsonist has uh, moved out the cap. So they're oh, just yeah. going to go ahead and flip that 
while B is getting flipped for free. Looks like we have some torps heading out towards the Borodino, but the Borodino is not pushing out over here by B. He's going to pocket himself right by that island. Mm-hmm. And that's what makes the Borodino so strong. You can put yourself right next to an island, have the cover from the island to protect your broadsides, and just give the nose to all these other ships and get a good amount of damage. Oh, yeah. Arsonist is taking oh, back C. Yep. Mogami uh, is under half health and uh, is just coming under a barrage right now. It's kind of a fat ship and pretty easy to hit, especially with a Borodino. Yep. Ooh. <laughs> oh, there goes the Mogami. <laughs> and Mogami goes down. No, no, no. Fifty-one forty, Impure Rage in the wind. So currently, in terms of caps, it's in favor of Impure Rage as well as the points lead. Sitting about like a ninety point lead right now. Uh oh! Did Dirty Sailor just turn into a bunch of Doom Spear yep. torps? Yep. One, two. Dodge the last one. Just two. Just two. Yes, yeah, thank you. Hey, wait, I we think got we've... the return. Torps coming back. Is it going to hit the lightning? Nah. No. Oh. I think we do have a push with Ling Ling, Raffi, and Arc May just moving on B right now. Dirty Sailor, though, he has to watch out. Low health. Yeah. Lightning coming under fire from the Bordino and the mains right now. Taking heavy chunk damage from that mains. We do have a small push over on the left side with Chris and Ashi and the Ignacio moving on Monster Man, Arsonist, and Cheesecake. See how these torpedoes are looking. Might get one or two. And he gets a flood. <laughs> it's the law. You hit you get hit by one. <laughs> mm -hmm, of course. Unfortunately, right now Monster Man is showing us why the Amagi it, it's a good sniper, but the moment you get in a close mid-range battle. Yeah, that's it gets just gets hammered. Oh. The Graffy's gonna and also, the sport. Uh, A and C have been flipped, so now they're in favor of Overwhelmed. Archmagus has a Doom Spear right on him, and unfortunately, it looks like all those, or at least some, uh, let's see, about over half. Not as did. bad as it could have been. Yeah, yeah, not as bad as it could have been. It looked a lot worse. Ooh, Dirty Sailor gets nailed by the Hipper. Yeah. But well, Archmagus is right there for the response. Uh, unfortunately, shot went, went low, it looks. Oof, he almost gets him. Arsonist got the Venito. And now the Ignacio with all three of those shooting at That's oof. Ashi took a big hit. Yeah, Ignacio's not going to last long. Uh oh, Archmaze has torpedoes on him. Those are looking pretty darn good, unfortunately, because he turned out onto him. Yeah, Only three like still alive. Three of them? Yeah. Yep. The Ignacio went down. Nito did not hold up well enough. Rage is just really showing their capability of falling back at the right points and making sure to keep their people alive, shuffle people out, and their shot placement. Absolutely. Or you know, is gonna Archmage does go down. Um I mean still it's pretty close. Yep, the cap control from Overwhelmed has been really good. 
they've been able to keep the caps up even with losing so many people. Yeah. I think that's the difference right now. It's just that they have more. They have two more ships that have gone down. But it might have been just too little too late to make a play. Oh, let's see. I think Z Shimmy going down here. Get some light torps going in. Yeah, Z Shimmy's definitely down. Yeah, Z Shimmy's out. Yeah, they were unable to get Ling Ling in time. Those Wichita's have become a very popular uh, pick in this I mean, in this tournament. Which Wichita's it slept on, to be honest. Oh yeah, I can see that. Guys, thank you for the donuts. I'm telling you, it's not required. You guys can just watch, man. It's all good. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Give him a bob stream Wait, over. I gotta, I gotta hit ready so that I don't mess this up here. Yeah, no, you never want to be that. You never want to be the reason. So now we're know, moving right? on to. I don't want to be the reason that we just sit and wait here. Yep, now we're moving on to Haunted Seas, which especially with the map play that Overwhelmed mm. was using, maybe that they could use it to an advantage because Haunted Seas, you can play around with the maps as long as you control uh, B or C or A and C. You can do some fun stuff and also stay hunkered down, uh, and that would force Rage into a move. Could be very interesting, but we do have to, I think we have swap outs. I think they got to remove that, that Mogami. That's not a good pick at all. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be honest, like we called it and we were like, I don't know. No. That uh, mains was doing work. <laughs> well, it is Raffi too, so you know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the mains is an absolute great ship. Oh, yeah. It's Over in EU, actually, uh, I think one of the last Lay few down. games actually saw that m the mains is a definite torque boat also. Um, mains versus battleship. <laughs> yep, it's a torp boat. <laughs> oh man, I need to go watch those. Oh yeah, it was good. It was yeah. very good games. Highly would suggest to go over and check out Bob Lin's channel over there. Amazing creator. Let's see, what did they end up swapping that? Oh, they went to a... mains. They went to a mains. Okay. And an Amalfi. Yeah, the Amalfi is just strike capability. As much as the Ignacio, this is one they actually saw from, I think it was Ahoy. They swapped out the, the Ignacio for the Amalfi, dependent on the map. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of strategy in there. Is Do you want to have that alpha strike potential of just removing mm -hmm. it from the field? Or do you want to have that constant AP damage and also the support mm -hmm. that the Ignacio brings? So. All right, I got to be dad right now. Bella, can you lay down? Well, I'm going to I'm gonna be horrible. <laughs> This is what I'm drinking, Hello. everyone. Hopefully, you all having a good evening. I'm having a nice little bit of blends. Having a good one. <laughs> oh, man. Benito. Let's see. The, Any changes yeah. on Rage? No, right? Oh, no. Uh, yeah. No, they didn't. Yep. They, they kept the same thing, but we do have a share bow coming back in. We, we didn't really see too much of it, but I have heard some good games in it. Let's go one more. Will it be Rage versus Rage? We'll find out. All right. Action stations. I'm curious of uh, what everyone's thoughts are in the chat. Do you think we're going to see a Overwhelmed versus Pure Rage or a Rage versus Rage? Yep, we so have. Know, but Overwhelmed is in blue and in red is Rage or Impure Rage. Looks like we have four going north on both teams and three going south. So this will be very interesting to see how these move. So again, it's that Vittorio Veneto uh, Amagi matchup to the north. If the Amagi stays at range, he definitely has the uh, upper hand. Yeah, the Amagi needs that range. It just has some of the highest DPM for its uh, class. It's just, it's unfortunately very easy and very squishy, I'd say. Yeah. Though, if the Venito can get a nasty shot onto the Lightning, it could be game over for that. Because once yeah. that DD goes down, you know, essentially they'll have free reign of C. Oh, yeah. DDs are incredibly important.
You know, things are going off. south. You got the Amalfi kind of going on a flank as well as the Ignacio. Oh, yeah. But we have some Torps coming in, and Ignacio is going to definitely eat two. Oh, they ran out of steam. Never mind. <laughs> oh, man. I always hate that. Not quite enough steam. HQ. Oh, thank you. You did not. You did not have to. Thank you very much. Come on. Okay. Versus I have seen a lot the of these uh, these turbo picks. Turbo. I don't know. I'm gonna mess that up, but whatever. Um, how do you how what do you think about that kind of a pick? So I think it can work. I just don't think at this high of level what it brings is what you want. Because if you look at the mains yep. pick, you make the Malfi pick, the Ignacio pick, even the uh technically even the uh witch topic, they all can melt DDs. Mm -hmm. The share bow yep. just overpens it constantly. So they they bring a DPM that I'd much rather bring anything else. Hard yeah. to say. It can be a yeah. cruiser killer, but it doesn't have the accuracy to do so. And to me, all these old other ships are cruiser killers and DD killers, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it's it's a hard pick. I'm not really sure I would uh, I would pick that. Our things down south. Hold on. Kind of quiet, to be honest, from the cruisers, at least. Lizzie Slars and Arsonist are both not in the exact right shape. There. Gotta fix the super Slide. chats coming in 30 As seconds. Always, thank you. Coming in late. Oh, looks like Chris might be taking a few torpedoes here. Ooh, don't be a permafloat. Oh, that is not permafloat. Okay. I'm sorry, my chat just making me laugh right now. Someone said I should be in a Ricky Martin video. Oh, yeah. The Monster Man pushing in HQ, losing a few torpedoes to the island hitbox. Arsonist is moving in, going for a midfield push. Let's see. How many torpedoes? Cheesecake's got to run. Cheesecake's got to run big time. They've definitely been shooting him better this time. Two torps onto Monster Man, they do end up getting the flood on them, so that's the damage control right off the bat. Ooh, right there, Dirty Sailor getting knocked out by Venito. Uh, a lot of people forget that that battleship has the sap in it. <laughs> it can hurt. Mm -hmm. It can't nuke you in one shot if you're at full health, but if you're hurt, mm. yeah, it can definitely wipe you out. No Apparently, one... the cap advantage is in favor of Overwhelmed. But we have Arsonist coming into B, so let's see what, what he can make happen there. Yep, I was best about to say that. I was like, Arsonist is doing what you should be. If you're if you're down a DD, start playing the caps. Just don't don't engage too much. Just try to be that annoyance of swapping the caps back and forth. Absolutely. Down Now, Dizzy is doing the right thing with the share bow. If you can get behind that island and really try not to expose yourself, that he just lost a turret. That's the problem with the share bow in the breast. They lose their turrets constantly. It sucks. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see. We're oh, we got a death ride coming from Orkin. Oof. Yeah. Arsonist is down. Does get the torpedoes off, but does go down. Yeah, but those Orkin torpedoes do almost nothing, and Bordino HE is oddly good. Oddly good. I mean, yeah, chunked them. Oh, yeah. The Chan got that. I I have a feeling that got overwhelmed. Learned from last time. They're definitely slowing their pace of their game. Not pushing too early. You can see all their health. A lot of them are weakened, but they're all keeping people alive, which is most important. Yeah. Also, it's about, what, a almost 200-point lead? Yep. All via caps. 
Archmage is taking a few. Cheesecake taking a few. Looks like they're trying to go for Z Shimmy and they're letting. Ooh, Cheesecake. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> there goes that. So they traded. Yeah. Now the bigger thing is, is can Ashigara catch up to Archmagus and bleed him out a little bit there? But 12 seconds left, actually. That's it. Yeah, that's no, it, game two. That's... One to one. Go ahead and update this. Yep. But Arkle, thank you again. Cheers. Yeah, like I said, very well played. I think... Yep. Uh, the turning point there is once uh, Rage's DD got hammered by the Veneto. Once yep. that happened, like, they just controlled that side of the map. And I called it. I called it. <laughs> and they played the caps well, and that's what they were doing last time. It's just they didn't have the exact overall damage on, yep. you know, killing particularly people that game. They had it that time. I think they've got a, a strategy there. I still think the share bow is a weird pick. But, hey, if you win with it, is if it works, it ain't stupid. Oh, it's not. Nope. Let's, uh, see, let's we, see. Do you think we see any change-ups? I think we are going to see a change-up. Someone swapped out, backed out. Looks like Overwhelm is, uh, Overwhelm is going to be doing a change-up, but it's weird because what they had worked. But this is also Haven, which has a lot yeah. of different playstyle compared to Haunted Seas. Absolutely. The the you know, the amount of pockets that you can put in here, especially Borodinos. Borodinos are stupid strong on Haven. And such uh, Rishis as well, um, DDs. I, I really wonder if they maybe go. Uh, I don't know. They only have one more DD there, don't they? Because I'm surprised yeah. I haven't seen three DD picks on this map. Because three DDs on this map are key and critical, just to keep on swapping the caps on people. Absolutely. Now, who did you say has the uh, advantage on this map? All right, the team that spawns to the north or the team that spawns to the south? Depends on where the battle actually lands. If the battle is more at B and C, the southern side, especially with the Borodino, mm -hmm. can pocket themselves incredibly well. But if you can get a more northern flank and maybe have a little few people just holding B and C, uh, or A and B there at the top, then the top area has it far better because they have some areas where they can just slip those guns right over and you can't okay. re uh, return back. At least in my opinion. What about you? Uh, see, I'd like... If in this map especially, I like spawning in the northern team because of being able to get a control of A and B a lot quicker than C and D can get in control of the enemy team. Because oh. the DD, all they got to do is slip into A and immediately bank into B. And they're, you're, you'll see it happen. They'll get in there quicker than the other team will be able to. Yeah, that is true. I, I just view that that pocket at C, especially if there's a northern fight, that lower mm -hmm. area just has it so damn good. I don't like that. It just yeah. makes it so nice, but of course you have a, a and a, or a kind of a more A B minorly C fight. Then all of a sudden, yeah, you really don't have that good of a spot to sit there with a the Borodino. You're kind of stuck in yeah. between B and you're at C and D. Where do you go? So, uh, though I, I I will say I go fish oh. often up in the northern front. I just send off torpedoes, and most of the time I hit something because <laughs> they're all trying right. to go after heading into into game three this is the final game so yep. winner of this goes on to the grand finals loser has is going to be knocked out of the tournament yep. it's a really important match right now yep oh yeah who's going to be third place let's go into it action stations of course everyone right, in chat the... let us know what you want let us know who's going to win oh back out we have a bomb out all right. Something happened. False alarm, everybody. False alarm. False alarm. Yep. I'm gonna run it back. Let me ready up so I don't forget. I know, right? Take a sip, everyone. Just relax. Back at, back in the someone crashed. lobby view here. Yeah, someone crashed. Yep. That happens. That happens. But I don't know who's uh, what. What is whose chat is what? You know, are you guys excited for one versus the other? Actually, let's let's open a poll up. Let's see while we have the time to do it. If I can oh, yeah. do it quickly. Yeah, can you do it really quickly?
Oh my god, my brain. Rooting. Is it just R O O T? Yeah, it's just R O T. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll just make the new. I probably spelled overwhelmed wrong, but whatever. We're going to start anyways. Boom. Poll is <laughs> up. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what they have to say. Yep, I'll start. I'll start a poll too. I've actually never done that, actually. Thank you for teaching me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So while that's going, we'll see what chat says at the end of this. Oh, yeah. stations all right so in blue we have found and in red we have impure rage Ooh, okay i'm seeing a strat farm right here so they're just gonna grab they're, it looks like they're going for, going for an a and a d fight oh man okay If they're giving up C, hopefully Rage notices that. Or uh, if they're giving up B, maybe? Maybe? Well, I think Rage is heading kind of for C right now. Good thing here. We got Ling Ling, Rafi, Monster Man. Hmm. Option C, Big Bay takes the championship. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the suave today. Nope. All right, let's see. We got both Borodinos kind of nosing to each other. I wonder if they were thinking of HQ getting up there close and then running away like that. What were they thinking there? Hmm. Nashio being a roamer. I think that Nashio is trying to get some spots on uh, a Malfi out here because he's kind of behind that rock. But broadside, so if he gets spots onto the Amalfi, the Borodino has great shots on him. Yeah. Doozy taking a good bit of fire in the share bow. So for me, it just as I've played that round, no share bow should be right next to an island. Don't don't put it in open water. That is not where it wants to be. Raffi in mid. Should be taking the arsenal. Citadel right there. All right, we got the fight breaking out between the Amalfi and the Ignacio right now. I'd give it to the Ignacio overall in a 1v1 fight. The Amalfi is oh, yeah. not, not for that life. No, he had to turn out, but now he's got a good broadside to the Bordino, so let's see if he actually takes advantage of that and gets some shots into him. It's up to make sure that the shot caller is telling everyone to make sure to do that, too. Yeah. Pretty even game, though. Two caps to two caps, only a slight point lead in favor of uh impure rage uh nope not for long <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was watching death chain getting beaten the crap out of here that's actually one thing i, I noticed with m the mines was in so many games they were just taking so much damage yeah it's a squishy ship yeah big ship but it can dish out can dish it all right, looks like we have a little bit of lightning on lightning action here at BCAP. HQ looking for that Doom Spear, looking to try to force him into it. 
one to one torp. I mean, it did a good. Mm, no, nope, oh, no, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. Nice move. <laughs> did it take his rudder? I. Uh, no. So like a that's a that's a push of a doom spear. So uh, I've I'll, I have a whole video planned on that. <laughs> the whole strat to it. That was just an overturn, unfortunate too. Yeah. So now lightning has free reign to go in there and take that cap. There is no one that can respond to that and give his team the, the lead. It looks like Ling Ling is going to be responding to that, actually, and that's not a fun ship to deal with. So if we kind of got a little bit slow, what HQ is doing is basically threading the needle with the Doom Spear in between the widespread torps, forcing someone that if they turn out wrong, they do something wrong, they're going to run right into four of the torps rather than missing an entire Doom Spear. Oof. That was close. Arsonist yep. almost got hit with two of them. Yep. They are pushing back into B, though. It's like Doozy's trying to relocate along Chris. Hiromi, thank you very much. Let's go in pure rage. I'm, gonna, I'm at 71% in pure rage. Yeah, uh, we got some rage boys. Ooh. No, Overwhelmed's doing a darn good job at this. Very close match. One minute left. Almost. Yeah, Z Shimmy's gonna have to back out. He is uh, not looking good right now. It's like Rage is attempting to maybe make a move in the middle towards C. Yeah, I mean they have to. They're they're down. Mm. I mean it's it's so close, man. They they got to do something there. Which they're down for like two points. Which shot has lost both its front turrets? <laughs> Oof, hopefully they have a heal. Hopefully they have repair. Ordino's pushing back in. He's going to try to stop them from taking that cap. Oh, they're flipping it. Yep. They'd be careful. A lot of cruisers there. You're going to have a lot of uh, Ooh, burst damage. Oh, got smashed. Ordino got... might be dead here. Yep. Right there. Right there. Right at the last moment. Anything less? Even if... Yeah, even if Cheesecake goes down, it's just not enough points because the battleship's worth Good. more. Good game on that. 2-1. That Get was rich. close. That, was, that like was one of the closest ones we've had. I'm looking forward to the next one. We got uh, Impure versus Pierre. No. Got overwhelmed. They did a good job, though. Oh, yeah. It's a very worthy third place. I will say that. That could have gone either way at that point. I think Z Shimmy moving back in. I think I don't know what the call was on that. Uh, maybe they thought they could get an extra cruiser. Yeah, but uh, no, it just wasn't worth that. That play wasn't worth. But good game on that. Uh, I think are we gonna stay here? I think we can't stay here. But oh man, we'll hang out here. Yeah, well, I'm betting the uh, Let us go back to. Lobby view. If I can find it. Uh, they're, they're, they're all dropping out. They're all dropping out. We will no, wait left. for the next one. Going back into full face. Look at this. We now have Impure Rage going against Pure Rage. Yesterday, the, uh, the Pure Rage versus Impure Rage. Pure Rage only had a real challenge in the, the second game. The first game, they absolutely just crushed them. So... That's going to be very has, interesting to see where it goes forward on. Has Pure Rage dropped a match yet? No. No? No, they, I know they didn't drop the last one. Oh, my God. Hiromi. Because I, I never saw them drop a match the whole time I was watching them day one. So, And I did follow them quite a bit just because they were quick to send me the invite, you know. And I told the guys that you know the admins i'm like hey if i get an invite i'm watching whatever that is because there was no schedule anyways yeah 
Oh my god, here he, I just got I just got slammed by a bunch of memberships. Thank you everyone for the love and support. Oh my god, I'm becoming members. Oh my gosh. Aromi. Aromi. <laughs> You guys, are, you guys are nuts. You guys are nuts. Raffi and Arsonist also always make me nervous when they're on the red team. Yeah, Raffi and Arsonist are a dangerous uh, crew. Uh, especially yeah, if you ever see Arsonist in a, in a Shima. No, that's John Wick. Just just consider John Wick. That's John just, Wick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, no, there's very few Shima players I'm scared of. Very few. And when you run into a good one... They're going to say hi to you whenever they care to. That's it. <laughs> oh, cool. that, that's cool. Yeah, Jason, it is a best of three. Actually, I'll answer you in yep. the chat. So you got to reply immediately here. Yep. So we have Impure versus Pure Rage coming up. We are waiting for an invite from the teams there. But hopefully everyone has been enjoying the coverage of Rulers Wave all this week. And make sure to go over and give out Pig Bay. Give him some love over on his channel if you can. And also, uh, earlier today, Boblin actually watched the EU games, and those were super close too. So if you're looking for more content like that, go over to Boblin's Ooh, channel. There we go. Some love. I got one yep. from Steve. Steve. You can get Steve's in chat. Yep. Oh my God, Hiromi. I think I think we we're gonna have to do something here. We're gonna have to. Who's who's gonna win this, everyone? Oh, another Let's, poll. I'm, I'm gonna yeah, the who's... let's do it let's do it i'll do it too yep but oh wait no that's a q a i don't want to do that <laughs> <laughs> ask me anything uh, ask me anything I, i've got who's gonna win rage or rage but it doesn't know Yo, right why can't i do it the... oh wait that's why because the other poll's still well, alive hiromi cheers thank you so much and hopefully everyone is enjoying the content here Best of seven, everyone. Better be ready. This is going to be very interesting. We already have a Franklin D. Roosevelt in game right here. That's going to be fun. <laughs> so we have Friar's Lantern off that. This is a fantastic map. Uh, something that I've actually noticed uh, in all these tournaments, a lot of fantastic games happen in the Halloween match matches. So more Halloween maps? Come on, more gaming? What? <laughs> we got what we got. Friar's Lantern and... Haunted Seas, and they're both really good maps. Haunted Seas, yeah. <laughs> just saying, just saying. But yeah, I we mean, got Friars Lantern, Haunted they're, Seas. They're, they're interesting. The they're way you play them, it could be different. You know, you got that yeah. one cap that everybody has to go contest, and there's oh, always yeah. a fight breaking out there. Oh yeah, that's the beauty of them. Gets it, gets everyone on the map there. But we have Friars Lantern, Haunted Seas, Haven, Blue Front, Pacific Islands, Okinawa. Hopefully, we don't get blinded by the light on that one, uh, and then uh, <laughs> Trident. So let's go into a game here. <laughs> hey, Pack, how's it going? Oh, man. Oh, man, I try to think of something right, cheesy to write to Papaya. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see what we have on here. A Gascon. A vampire too. That's very good. Oh, we have seen a good amount of chap uh, chappies, some chapayevs. So pretty good. Yes. Honestly, great pick. Especially remember, Chappy didn't always have radar, so I even forget that nowadays. Oh but yeah. A very accurate ship that AP does slap destroyer. So something to keep in mind. Hey, don't forget that HE. It burns. It's got that nice, nice, nice amount of fire trick. Nice. Not too crazy. That looks like all the real picks. Yeah, they <laughs> they were just. You see myself fire to Oh, man, PB, you opened yourself up for that. Open it up. You know. Yeah, yeah, I did. I did. I did. Hey, sometimes I have to wear my red power suit. Just have to get the red power suit. To make a business deal. Lay down, Bella. Lay down. Yeah, uh, but we like got... you're going to bed because it's time for bed for you. Oh, my God. Pack. Pack. Why don't you put flat on the bed? Oh man! Oh God! We're gonna. I'm gonna get spammed. I've got gifts. Everyone's being gifted membership. <laughs> oh, crap. oh, here we go! All right. Oh man! Game Pack one cheers. Of seven, possibly. Let's see. Where is it? one of seven? Let's go into this. I might have to mute the. Uh... 
Oh, ah, we're just, we'll just let it happen. Let's let it happen. Alright. Action stations. All right. So, in the blue team, we have Pure Rage. And in red, we have Impure. Pure in blue, Impure in red. Yep. Let's see who wins. Best of seven. Looks like both teams going pretty heavy to B and C, their respective caps. Getting ten freaking notifications of donations. <laughs> oh man. Oh, thank you, Pack. Oh my god, you guys are nuts. Okay, we have, we have two caps support. with Pierre. Ooh, Steve taking some heavy hits from that uh, Wichita. Matt going up north on that. Let's see. Imagine Swirsky to buy off. Yeah, that'd be nice. Sorry, everyone. I can't touch this. It's just going to keep on going. <laughs> yeah, definitely now the caps have flipped in favor of Impure. I was missing some torpedoes. Ling Ling pushing around, helping helping out with Soulfire Matt pushing around the northern cap. Ooh, Steve. So I like the positioning right now because that Amagi can't really hit him effectively because of uh, that island there. Oh, uh, but so down he south. He got his shots and now is. Oh. Oh, down south. Golden's getting ripped apart by Cheesecake and Raffi. Peppered. Golden got another got another smoke up, so he's good on that one. Down goes the Wichita. It was a heavy, heavy hit from the Amagi. Matt pushing in on Arsonist. Golden running away, heal up down south. Pure Rage in the lead by 30. Raffi taking some consistent damage from Alistair. Yeah, Arsonist uh, looking pretty hurt here. You got Steve chasing him down. Ooh, that's not. Is he going to get him though? Yep. Oh, yep. Steve ends up getting him. So two ships down on the side of Impure. You can they get Alistair? And are we going to get a rush? Yep. Steve is now smoked up. Let's see if he has the torps ready. He's going in right for an assassination run. Except going for a hug style. Little kiss. Little kiss on the snout there. Yep. And there they are. Oof. Don't forget, but he's hurt. Yep. Yeah, this Out. is uh, pretty much done here. Yep. But can they stop the overwhelming victory at least? Nope. Doesn't seem so. I mean, they Oof. got two minutes to find Dirty Sailor now. 
Oh, Dirty Sailor's already being hunted by Blue. And he's got Golden moving. That Golden did a great job running away there, and Alistair was tanking both from the mains and from the Amalfi down south. It was a good try on the push, but they held him back. Nicely That's it. done. That was nicely done. Honestly, it was very close all up until like the first couple of ships went down. As soon as that happened, it was just snowballed from right there. They just had way more firepower than that other team. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, and I, I completely forgot something, dude. What'd you forget? The giveaway. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure to sign up. I have a tier eight to give away everyone. Thank you to the rulers of the wave crew for doing that. And uh, yeah, hopefully uh, you guys can win. Make sure we do it while, while we're watching. Win something as well. I can uh, remember to do that. It was supposed to be going this entire time. It was supposed to be going. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> All right. So, so far, only 10 votes. And I'm seeing a pure rage over impure rage. Oh, did you actually put them? I just I put who would win rage or rage. <laughs> No, no, yeah, I put pure rage <laughs> versus impure rage. Everybody's uh, about seventy percent is saying impure, so that's seven people out of the ten. Oh man, let's see if you want to switch guys, sides. Yeah. Is it really the victory that matters, or is it the friends we made along the way? Oh, just as always, there there are big ships and small ships, but the best ships are friendships. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Yep, get in that raffle. Uh, and if it gets done early, I'll do that. But you can actually join up on every single way that I'm streaming, except for Kick. Sorry, Kick. You just aren't working with Streamlabs yet. Goal needs a restart, so we are handling a restart right now. I got to figure out what's going on with CloudBot. It's just not on anymore. I've had that occasionally happen. I tend to just, like, reset, re-log into everything. Yeah. That's fair. And sometimes it turns itself off. I'm just okay. like, thank you. Thank you. Streamer life problems, everyone. Uh, do you think we're going to see any switch outs here from Pure? Now that it's a different map? I don't think so. They they really did ha almost had. They almost had Alistair. They almost had Golden. It just They just needed to do that full follow through. And they were just getting stopped. Um, just by a little bit of the of uh, shoot uh, the Borodino, Be yeah, Bellman or Ben. Um, bleh, be Bellman. Bleh, I can't. It is Bellman, but on the server is Belgium. There we go, Belgium. I don't like that. Um, but yeah, Belgium just absolutely did a great job on swapping and being like, oh cool, I'm shooting up north. Crap, we need to shoot down south to shut up these cruisers. And he did a great job there. So it's gonna be quite interesting mm -hmm. to uh, see what happens. Six v seven. We I actually saw six v seven actually the other day. Um, and I and I and I swore Yoho did it on purpose just to kick themselves in the butt. <laughs> Put them down one game, win two. <laughs> oh. oh man, we got we got some people joining in on there just to make sure everyone knows you can join up on Twitch and uh, Trovo and get in also your trap uh, tickets there. No one saw that. No one saw that. Good. Good. No one saw that. Had to, had to go in dad mode right really quick. So we're now going to go. All good. If you need to, view. I can cover. No, no, you're good. You're good. This. Not perfect. I had to get the stern voice out. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Her homie. You drink too many Mai Tais. Nice. <laughs> I haven't had a Mai Tai since I was in uh, Japan. Yeah, I don't think I've had a Mai Tai in a long time. Battle starts. All right, there and we go. Blue. Yeah. All right, pure. in blue team, we have Pure Rage. And in red, we have Impure Rage. Oh, yeah. Sounds moving there. Hmm. Monster I haven't Man seen Bellman move yet in the Borodino. Oh, yeah. Bellman dead stick. 
Uh oh. I mean, they don't stop it right now, though, right? Like, is there a certain amount of time they give them to. I think it's like a 30 seconds. I mean, we're kind of past that now. That's yeah. unfortunate because Amagi is down. They're overwhelming them up top. No, oh, he's moving now. He's moving now. He's moving? Yep. Yeah, he's moving. If not, the Borodino is going to be in the middle anyway, so it's not that long of a drive for him. So, or a same. No, 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 yeah. Him. Yep. We got blue. All right, so we got Ignacio versus Amalfi down here in the south. Does have Archimedes as his back up there, and that would hurt the Ignacio pretty well. Yeah, but also that Amalfi's just waiting for Steve because we've seen that we see him do this exact thing before. You know what I mean? Just hang out here, waiting for the right moment to strike. Oh, yeah. Blue's punching on Dirty Sailor hard along with Matt. They're seeing if they can get rid of Dirty Sailor immediately. Missed on those shots. Yeah, Rafi definitely coming in with a backup, though. All right, we're seeing Bellman in the Bordino going heading north now. Yeah. Matt versus Rafi. That's a fight of the century. <laughs> Can't tell me. <laughs> Got some bad dispersion there. So we just sitting there. I think Arsenis is going to go around the north part of the island, and Steve's uh, just waiting for him to come around the south. <laughs> yeah, we got a little bit of mains versus mains action here. Rafi's taking punishments from both Al Alistair, Blue, and Matt. That's not good for your health, but Ling Ling getting hit actually from Matt there. Fo target focusing, making sure you get rid of the people who you actually know you have to kill. Who you oh, can kill Bellman. sometimes, too. Yeah, Bellman taking a bunch of torpedoes, but it's not done yet. There's still another two coming his way. He definitely used the kit, though. And is going to... Yep, gets hit with a third behind him. Good job on target priorities right there, Matt and Alistair taking out that with Raffi shortly right there behind. Two cruisers down right there. Nice moves from Pure. Oh, they're going in. Alistair is going in. Don't care attitude right there trying to get Dirty Sailor. Hard. What's Steve doing? Now oh, Steve's getting shot in the back by... Arsonist the there. Front and the back. Is he pushing out now? Ooh, the torps. Takes one from the lightning. Heavy hits. I think Steve is gonna go down. We got secondaries from anyone? Yeah, Monster Man of North is just getting swamped. Yeah. Oh man. Does get the spear out, but does they do they hit? It's one, two, three, four. Good amount of damage, but Getting surrounded up north, unfortunately. Now they have the rest of this. Pure Rage has the north cap, and they're going to be pushing in on that. Great moves from Alistair and Red just moving in on that. Now it's just up for Soulfire and Golden to just relax. Wait for the, wait, wait for Cavalry to arrive. Yep. I think losing those two cruisers, taking advanced positions Absolutely. on the mains, and then having Matt go wide, yeah, wasn't good for them. She's yeah, I was like cheesecakes. Yep. <laughs> yeah, Bordino does not play around, man. No. Not at that range. Ooh, Arson is taking a big no. hit right there. Yeah, this this one's pretty much over. They're just encircling them now. Yep. 
Ignacio is just undetected firing over that island, farming the Borodino. And the Magi's just pounding him as well. Unfortunately, they, they tried to push, and that push did not work out. The Impure just stopped him, and that's what happened. That was game. That was game. Game two is over. What do you think, PB? Game over, man. Game over, man. Game over. <laughs> I mean, Pure just played a great game. Uh, those That focus fire up north is just what sealed the deal there, you know? Because once they got those ships out, they were just able to take control there and head south and encircle them. It was just game over at that point. Oh, yeah. No, they definitely were just, once they had it, they just encircled Monster Man, and Monster Man couldn't do anything about it. Even Wichita pushing them straight on. Those, yeah. those U.S. Uh, heavy cruisers, they get too close to you. That AP on a bow or a stern, it murders your health. It's just chunks. So... Now Haven. Hmm. What are you thinking here, Pig Bay? Think we're gonna use swap outs too? Uh oh wait, I I didn't even get <laughs> Yeah, oh sorry, I'm like dying at the same time here. Um Do we have any swap outs? No, I don't see Hmm. Yeah, there's no swap, swap outs there, right? No, but I don't think so. I think everyone's pretty much solidified. They've got their ideas. They got their their ships that they play. We have seen Golden play the Amalfi before, so it's I, I could see that type of swap out. But gotta keep so like all right. I think I'm gonna end this poll now that I had going still. I'm gonna end it here because uh it's not updating chat because that pulls in the way. Oh yeah. I do that. That do that that way. Oh, right, oh we we're already in. going into it, okay. We're already going in. Going in. Oh tech, bro. <laughs> what is it? What are you going? We're gonna do that. Just watch. Tack just did that to me too. He just he just <laughs> he just bombed us. He's bombed us. General oh, all right. Um, all right. In blue, we have pure rage, and in red, we have impure rage. What do you think, man? Bro, I'm telling you, pure rage has just looked too solid this whole tournament. Like, they have not dropped the match, they are them right now. Yeah. No, they are doing a dang good job at knowing when to push. But I, I did when I'm watching them yesterday. Their main key winning factor is they know when to just back away. They have that just mm -hmm. that down pat of knowing, hey, I've taken too much damage. Let's back off, pull back, keeping those guns in the game. That's the main thing. Red ships, blue ships, friendships, right, we're, we're seeing ships. a normal kind of start right now from Impure Rage. Not really going for the invade of C. Wow, Pure Rage is definitely, you know, hoping to catch some ships out. Yep. See, Alistair is actually going exactly where I'd say the Sharpo should go. It's you just put your two front guns there, you hide most of your ship in the back there. You can do a lot where Ling Ling's just out in the middle of nowhere. If you know how to move, you can do it, make it work, which definitely he can, but not what I would suggest. A lot of focus fire going on that wizard hall right now, but torps on to Alistair. No, they don't reach. They don't, okay. They don't. That's in long range. Ling Ling getting focused right there. Alistair taking a good bit of damage there. I actually wonder how much a turtle would actually go up against this. Because they, they're split so much, if you could just do a lightning just right down on one and bear down on them and get rid of them, you might be able to make See, it. I'm not, I'm not too much of a fan of the turtle just because of the crossfires that can happen. You know what I mean? Someone's always going to have a good shot on you once you get surrounded, you know? And but, to me, Pure Rage is not the team that you want a turtle against. 
True. But Dak, cheers. Got a little bit of a stack up here with Blue Alistair and Beldrum. <laughs> They're all just chilling together. Yep. Well, they're letting their other crew over here give a, cr a nice crossfire in that section right there. Mm -hmm. Hey, keep it right there. And especially with both their DDs all in the same section. In peers, they need to spread those DDs out so they can start playing the caps and, muck and monkeying around. Because yep. Dirty Sailor could be down here just throwing some torps just in this general blob, and it's going to hit somebody hard. Monsterman's taking a lot of damage. Matt's keeping the pressure on. Ooh, heavy hit onto the Malfi from Soulfire. Yeah. You know, Pigby, I think you might be right. I think my me saying that they should have turtled is uh, definitely turning wrong right now because I think they kind of are in a turtle with Cheesecake being the roamer and the. Uh... Yeah. So I'm saying they're, they're, you're, you're going to have someone able to get nasty hits on you. Oh, yeah. Arsonist taking one, getting a flood. <laughs> one lone torp. I was watching that, too. <laughs> it's the law. It's the law. You get hit by one, you have to have a flood. <laughs> 100%. Ooh, some right over to Archmage's his main top there. Ling Ling going down for Matt. Yeah, Bordino definitely got smacked, though, by uh, Amagi. Yep. Golden showing why the Amalfi. Oh, I'm up right here. Yeah, Ignacio wins that fight any day of the week. Yep. There goes the Eric Mages. Raffi's not too far behind. Matt's, I think, not too far far behind either. It's a lot of little putt putt guns. Yeah. yeah, Cheesecake's about to go down. There he goes. And now it's just the DDs and. Not, not for long. <laughs> not for long. Uh, yeah, Pierre, what, what, Pierre what happened? Here's playing out of their mind this tournament. Oh, yeah, I think Ling Ling was out of out of position right off the bat. I I, I almost well, want to say that Impure is playing a little too cautiously. Well, so one of the things that Romer that Romer Malfi man like. I know he was trying to get a pick on one of the DDs, but the DDs were never around where he was. You know what I mean? That yeah. not even near the vicinity. So really all he had to shoot at was the Ignacio and an uh, Magi, you know what I mean? Yeah, which that uh, basically means the Amalfi is just the worst pick in that situation. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, man. I, I did like how Matt was the roamer. I think the the mains is a perfect roamer in that position. It just has the firepower, has the capability to handle just about everything. How how often have you been in this situation where you just got everybody and their mother shooting at you? Ah, uh, far too often. Far it's not too often. not pleasant. No. I know how that feels, and I don't like it. <laughs> no. Oh man, Belman Be Belgium's doing a good thing right there. Oh, man. <sighs> Ready up. Be the first thing I do. Update my yep. little update. Last here. game. Last game. If they. If this is it, this is it. Potentially. Dude, if they win this one, literally, they played this whole tournament and did not lose a game. Like literally came in this tournament. BP slapped everyone and did not drop a game. Yo, that is that's crazy. God. 
quick games though. I, th I think, I think that it was the bad positioning. I think that's that's what really killed that game. Is you had Lingling out of position and Amalfi out of position, not able to do anything of what it should be doing, and then you you just get Monster Man with the amount uh, the Amagi getting absolutely just killed by once again that pocket in the bottom bottom part of the map. It's yeah. strong for the Southern Fleet. It's just of course you don't get those caps early. But now you have these really good positions to be able to hold out and push on those teams. So, uh, not seeing any changes coming out in uh, in pure side at all. Would you change? What, what would you change if you had the option right now, like from their lineup right now? Or do you think it's more of a play style that needs to change up? I think it's a bit of a play style, but I would actually, especially with Blue Front, I'd go Triple DD. Play those caps. Just just stall okay. their pushes because Pure is absolutely pushing. And if you can just keep those torpedoes constantly out there, zoning torpedoes in order to block them, I think that could be a key to victory. But that's they, they, you know, no change. So I don't know. What, what would you change? Uh, actually, I kind of I got to agree with that with this map, especially. Uh, I feel like DD play is quite important. The more caps there are. But that's just like, I, I feel like it's important for Epicenter and definitely important for four cap maps. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. In blue, we have Pure Rage. And in red, we have Impure Rage. This could be the final game. Yep. Can Impure Rage take a game off of Pure Rage? And they prevent their overwhelming victories. <laughs> yeah. And you know what? And it's not just winning the tournament, too. You got to think about the bragging rights you have in your own fleet. <laughs> we are seeing Impure going for a full-on all-left strategy right now. Ooh, okay. Okay. Interesting. So this can work if they stay undetected long enough to surprise them and catch ships off guard. Like once they catch a couple and start knocking the ships out, it could work. But it could also end very badly, too. So now the next part about it is that if they are kind of doing a turtle like strategy, you want to make sure your shot caller is calling one person out at a time and you are eliminating that person's extreme prejudice. Even if you're getting shot at from a completely different other side, you must target that one person. So if they're not going to do that, it normally doesn't pay well. Ooh, Ooh Alistair. Alistair. That's a shutout right there, shot. That is, he's backing that out. Was an, um, yeah, Magi just handled that. What a shot. Immediately down to half health. See, I, I would like to see... Matt and the uh, and Steve over here realize what's happening and seeing that there's no real threat coming to D and kind of yeah. go and try to take B. This is this is also a position where I'm not sure Cheesecake would be the best in there. I think uh, another ship would be like the Wichita, but yeah. you know, Dirty Sailor has to be the one to be kind of holding back. And once again, I really wouldn't really put the then their Arc Mage is unfortunately oh. taking a lot of hits. I think Artmagus is going down here. Yeah, he's definitely going to go down, which is unfortunate because once you run essentially going to all one side like this, you want to be the team that gets the ships down first and get a get a little bit of an advantage. You don't really want to make this push and have your team be the first to lose a ship. Yeah, well, you know, uh, Bellman, Alistair, and just the entire crew over here, they're all just delaying it. There, that's that's exactly yep. what you should do if you're getting pushed on like this. Just just meander away, back up, shoot, stay yep. alive, and let Get your team shots. catch up. Ooh, dirty sailor taking some torps right now. Not looking too healthy. The main Not is looking probably good. Get Not looking good. Yep, right down. <laughs> yeah, B is completely unprotected. B is getting flipped. They took down Alistair, Alistair but cheesecake does go down. Cheesecake's going right down there after him. Yeah. See, that's not that's one of the things that can happen when you make one of these uh, desperation pushes like this. You know what I mean? It can work. But you have to catch them with their pants down, and that did not happen. No. Like, they're doing great. They stalled out this side. 
perfectly. Yeah, they saw that push. I think they're also too well spread out. They need to make sure that the the shots are. It's hard to tell who to hit. It's hard. You know, you, you're utilizing and forcing them into auto aim off situations, especially yeah. when they knew they had blue gaming down there, which would not. You know, those torps do not stall a push. Steve's torps do. No, Blues yeah, does not. You don't not, play but... Orkin for its torpedo power. You play it for the utility. Yep. Oh. Um, yep. That's it. Impure Rage is winning here. Un it looks like Raffi's going to take the entire... Uh, missing one torque, but... No, he's going to take four? Yeah, about, yeah. yeah. It'll take a good bit. Yeah. And that was all she wrote in Ling yeah, Ling Lu both front turrets. Mm-hmm. Yep. Dude, that is nuts. Good game on them, that's all I have to say. That was and fantastic. Alistair, for, for living as long as he did and taking the hit that he took in the beginning of the match. Yep. Because what I saw there was they hit him hard and Borodino pushed in. He saw that he got hit hard, and he pushed in, and then who ends up dying first? The Borodino on the side of Impure Rage. They just, they knew how to target better, and the, the you know, the Borodino didn't have the rest of the turtle with him, moving along, so, moving along in. It just, an improper push. I mean, to me, that looked like a little bit of a tunnel vision, too. You could also see that. <laughs> you could also see that. But that is it. Impure um, Rage. But yeah, what uh, give it up to Pure Rage. Champions did not drop a single match in this tournament. Insane. I don't think that was the first time it's I've nuts. ever seen that. No, uh, it is nuts. Yeah. They came in here, kicked the door in, and beat the crap out of everybody and took their lunch money. Um, good job, Pure Rage. And also, great job to Impure Rage. I mean, they play great games as well. Oh, yeah, and especially the next up got overwhelmed, got beaten by Impure Rage, and then came back right to go up against them and lose the racket finale. So that's that's yeah. great job from them. Great job from them. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, Well, we're done early. 10, 10, 14. Not bad. All right. Where's that? Like, geez. <laughs> yeah, remember, like, the old days where we were, you know, the L4 days? <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. I was like, we're going to be here for a long night. Nope. Nope. We yeah, are out like and one done. One of day two. Jeez, that was quick. That was quick. Um, but yeah, uh, at least they were good games like, overall. Especially the first two games, yeah, uh, yeah you saw a lot of good competitive play there. Just Pirates has it, had it in the bag. In the bag. Damn. Yeah, I mean they they freaking killed it. There's one more thing you say. Um, yeah. What All can right. you say? You know, cheers, I guess. Well, that's, that was quick. I, I have water. I have work tomorrow in the morning. So I'm just having my water. Cheers. With cheers. My water. Yep. So we actually, I was expecting that to take longer. Just a little bit. But uh, I guess we can, um, I, guess, I guess we could probably close up the entries to make sure you get your raffle in uh, just quickly. Yeah. Uh, guys, if you're on watching my channel and not going over there for the rap, please head over to Sly's channel for his little giveaway. Get yourself something nice, you know? Oh, yeah. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. But uh, I'm actually going to close this out here. So <laughs> anyone that's still here, thank you for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I love you all. And uh, yeah, until next time. And that's it for PB. Are you uh, jumping off completely? I mean, I'm just here right now. I already closed my stream. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, well, I think that's, that's, I don't know what else to say. Like, that was, damn. That was one of the quickest rule of the waves I've seen. Yeah. Uh, 10 o'clock. It's still pretty early. Done early, everyone. But... I'll take that. It's better than that. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah, know a clean sweep from Hiromi. Absolutely. Absolutely a clean sweep. I'm gonna give it like another minute to make sure that everyone go in and then we can uh, pop the raffle off a wee bit early. Um, let's see, does this work? I don't even know if this one does. It does. Aha. Boom. 
Okay, let's color block. We got both us right here. Uh, nah, but seriously, well done. Love to see the teams go up against the Eastern European guys. Yeah, that would be cool. I, I wish we could actually get a whole World Have Series. Have like an international tournament? Absolutely, I would love to see that. Oh, yeah. Because there's a lot of names that we, we wouldn't recognize, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. No, especially the games that happened on EU server earlier today. That was legit. That was awesome for the entire... Just everything. It was great. Yeah. I can't say enough. I can't say enough. Uh, I think... I'm going to give it 30 seconds. 30 seconds. And then we do a giveaway. Everybody ready? Something like that? <clears throat> Pig Bay. Yes. Thank you for coming on and joining me tonight. Thanks for having me here. You know, make, make sure to everyone... abandon me on the first day. I'm just saying. <laughs> Not abandon you at a Halloween party. Okay. Halloween party. <laughs> Tell works. <laughs> okay, everyone, congratulations, Rage. Yep, Rage definitely won. Yep, congrats to them. I think that's that's pretty much it. I don't think there's any more in the uh, let's just last last twenty seconds. Get in, uh, Foxy. It's not raffle. It's raffle. <laughs> <laughs> waffles. Remember waffles. Put in yep. Estimation point waffles. Oh man. Yep. Yeah. I can, there we go. There we go. Foxy got in. There we go. Taking it sweet old time. There we go. So, all right, and I guess that's that's gonna be it. Oh no, someone don't don't put raffles on Z. Make sure you get in before I do. I'm just about to close it. Better get in. No, oh, yeah, hey, hold off for another like two minutes because oh. uh, my stream just got done, and now I think everybody's running over there. So. Okay. Okay. I'm okay. Okay. I'm waiting. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Attack doing that. <laughs> oh man. Yep. Maybe I should make maybe I should make the code. Oh there we go. There I think there's there's a portion of your stream getting in there. Yep, there we go. Cannon fodder's getting in. I was like, only had 18 people in here. Come on, people know you guys wanna win a tier eight of your toys. No, no Warhammer and no black chips, unfortunately. So at least if I can't remember. Maybe I can maybe it doesn't work. I don't know. Find out. Give Apple. Why what what is your setup look for your your uh, ROG phone. See, this is what I got right here. And it has a little kickstand on it, which is super nice, I will say. So just set it down. You just hold on to it? Uh, no, I have I have phone holders. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have actually two phone holders because I test on multiple devices at once. Oh. Uh -huh. Do you have, have any way to cool your phone? Well, do you cool down your phone, though? I haven't had it ever throttle on this game. You know, of course, it throttled on Apex Legends and like that, but yeah. No? Yeah. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I had the I had yeah, the, I've... the active cooler, but it just it unfortunately it wouldn't let me extra stream at the same time. So yeah. This is probably the best one I've been using for the device, but uh, this is the one I've been using the longest. This is actually a cooler and a little thing. I probably should get a cooler but, uh, because I do know there's some games that I want to play soon that are going to be a little bit more. Got 23 people, 35 viewers. Come on, people. Come on. Get in there. Close it before soul fire gets on. <laughs> Yo, let me, let me go enter the raffle real quick. Yeah, it's got to be rigged. It's got to be rigged. Yeah, gotta be rigged. exactly. I got I to gotta go in there and enter so I can win two chips. <laughs> oh, oh, Arkel, <laughs> Arkel's trying to win a ship. If I lose, it's rigged. Mixing, that's always rigged. It's always been rigged. Always. always. <laughs> See, oh, Soulfire is now Fire, finally on. Soulfire is finally there. Yeah, Soulfire. Uh, if anyone on the main team wins, they win too. Oh, man. Raffle. Come on. If red wins, I'll ra raffle. Hiromi, that's absolutely true. But if you run it, it's definitely rigged. It's, it's turbo rigged. Turbo rigged. Uh, should we? Okay, 45 seconds. We're just going to do it for yeah, 40 seconds. <laughs> it's a falafel. 
Forty seconds. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna close it early. Got twenty six people. If you want to win a free Terry, there's thirty four people watching. Come on. Waffles, waffles, waffles. <laughs> Mixed in. Oh man. Hey, I got a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. If this is really great. If 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 I win though, I want you to pick someone else. I know, I know, I know. Uh, yeah. Pink Bay, you're not allowed to. Everyone's allowed to join. It doesn't mean he's actually going to win it. <laughs> exactly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everyone oh, stop joining. <laughs> uh, uh, is this a product placement? No, I wish. I wish. I do have uh, links, though, if you want to light up your house for Govee Lights. You can help support the channel that way. All right, that's it. That's it. Closing the entries. 27 have entered. <sighs> Let's see who wins. Who, who do you think? Is it going to be Rage Pig Bay? I don't know. Let's see. I'm, I'm looking at the phone right now. I'm waiting for you to hit. Ivan. Ivan V. Oh. Ostraka? Ostraka? I don't know. It's not rigged. I don't even know who that person is. It's not rigged. It's confirmed. Not rigged. Well, congrats to so them. Uh, let's see if they type. Please type in the in chat. It's my burner account, guys. <laughs> Joking. What do you What do you do? Do you give them like a minute to reply or? Yeah, something with like that. Actually, I think you should do at least give them a minute six. Or a yeah, minute it's yeah. Because well, it's gonna be a minute. Yeah, chat's instant, so we're just it's just well, yeah, the chat's on. instant, but. He's here. He's here. All right. Make sure you get your information to me. I have been yeah, perfect. Discord. <laughs> Why are people saying no? Come on. Just tell the guy congrats, man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, perfect. Let's see. Let's see if he's gonna send that to me. I just want to make sure. But he's here, so he's won. Congrats, Ivan, on your tier eight. Whatever you want, Alrighty. just let me know, and we'll send it over to you. Tell you to, to the list of lost giveaways. But congrats, congrats, Ivan. Yep. Foxy, congrats, Foxy, Ivan. come on, come on. It's not. It wasn't supposed to be your turn, Foxy. <laughs> Oh, man, but I think that would be it for us, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be P-Bay? Yeah, I think uh, we call it. We call it? Yeah. yeah. I think it's time. Until it's what, time. the next, in three months? We'll yeah, in three months, again. probably probably January, I'm, I'm guessing, after the holidays, you know, everyone's already yeah. done with that. I mean, I guess what you would say, we, we do it four times a year, so it's quarterly, or? Yeah, it's quarterly. Yep. So, we'll have the next one up there, we'll... Uh, See that everything is there. <clears throat> yep, uh, attack anytime. We enjoy streaming rooms of the wave. It's an absolute blast to have everyone on and just kind of chill with UPB one night of the, the times. But we can see some awesome games yep. and pimp out the game because it is such a fun game. Especially this, the tournament scene definitely helps out a lot more because you get to see some oh, yeah, really, absolutely. really good uses of stuff. Well, I, my favorite day is day three, definitely. Uh, day two is my least favorite because it's the longest. It's it's a grind. I'm not going to lie. Day two is a grind. Yeah. I can see um, that. But day three is always very nice because it's shorter and, you know, pretty, most of the time, pretty exciting to watch. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. Again, good job. Pure Rage. Y'all did phenomenal. Uh, kicking, kicking doors, taking names. You guys did it. Uh, but. Great job to everyone that participated. It was it was a lot of fun to watch. Oh yeah, and special shout out and thank you to Wargaming for you know, showing up and sponsoring this event along with shouting out in game for the first time in a long time. Yes, so that's really absolutely. great to see that. And uh, yeah, just for everyone running uh, the tournament, so say Kaboom, uh, I think AG, and a bunch of other people who help moderate and keep the tournament going. Mm -hmm. You're a great help to the community, and hopefully you had a good time as well. I think some of them aren't even in the tournament. They get their butt kicks every time, but they still join in, you know. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, I think that would be it. You know, PB, we'd have to figure out when we're going to get a CC crew around for this. A whole CC crew? Yeah, a whole CC crew. 
I mean, let's see. How many how many NA CCs are there? Because like for the NA tournament, like it just it's harder for the EU guys to be here. Uh so it'd be like you, me, Hiromi, uh Rappletor. But like I see him every now and then. I miss him. I know. Yeah. Right. It's gonna be it's gonna be it would be hard, but it'd be kinda of fun. Maybe World Series will make it happen. <laughs> Someone's gonna have to wake up to a on then. If we if we freaking did an international series, absolutely. That would be a blast. I would love to see that, but uh yeah. But I'm gonna call this here before this turns into another podcast. <laughs> yeah, we don't have we both don't have to go through the two hour long podcasts that we Yeah, absolutely. Are not you just at all. that whole thing up? Are you breaking that up? Uh, no, we I still have to put the gameplay in the background. <laughs> So you need two hours worth of gameplay. Stop reminding me. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw a bunch of old shit. <laughs> fair. That's fair. You can have like stuff that you already put up, anyways. Uh, nah. That is actually a good idea. You just have like old ruler of the wage tournaments. Oh God! But okay, everyone, we'll let y'all go for the night. Thank you all for joining us for this quick. Congratulations to Rage, and thank you so much to Wargaming for sponsoring and for the entire crew over on the Rules Wave crew for making this all happen. It's, have a good one, everyone. Peace. Oodles.